end of the day is the end of something and the start of something new. We've all seen sunsets, from brilliant blues to roaring reds. What if I told you that the colours we see are just the tip of the iceberg of what a sunset can be? Let's take a tour of our solar system and see just how weird sunsets can get. The first stop is Mars. The sun is about half the size of what we see on Earth, and although we know it is the red planet, Mars's sky is a mixture of brown and blue. Mars doesn't get many clouds, so once the sun sets, you'll be able to see the stars every night. On to Venus. Venus has a vivid yellow colour caused by clouds of sulfuric acid. Venus is weird because it spins backwards, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. If you can see the sun, that is. Venus is always cloudy, so you can't see the sun. It's these thick clouds that make Venus the hottest planet in the solar system. At night, Venus is very dark. You can't see the stars and there's no moon to light up the night. Now we've arrived at the closest planet to the sun, Mercury. The sun looks three times the size of what we see on Earth. Mercury has no atmosphere, so the sky has no color. As far as we know, Mercury's sunset is unique. Just as the sun is setting, it comes up again, before setting again, meaning Mercury gets a double sunset. The same thing happens at sunrise too. Being so close to the sun, after the sun has set, there is still a lot of light and it takes a while to get dark. We're now in the clouds of Uranus. The sun is pretty small in the sky now as we're so far away from it. Uranus is a bright blue sky, more blue than Earth's sky. This is because Uranus has a lot of methane. Uranus does have moons, but because there's so little light from the sun at this distance, we can't really see them at night. Our last stop is Saturn's moon, Titan. Titan has a bright orange sky. Like Uranus, there is very little sunlight here. You can, however, just see Saturn poking over the horizon. Titan has many mountain ranges, each of which get their name from the Lord of the Rings, with Titan having the Misty Mountains, Erebor, and even a Mount Doom. Buried beneath the surface of Titan are lakes. Could these contain life? We're not sure yet, but life would have to be pretty tough to survive the cold temperatures of minus 180 degrees. We've explored the strangeness of sunsets in our solar system, but so far we've found over 5,000 planets outside of our solar system. As we learn more about them, we might find sunsets that are even weirder than anything we can imagine.